Now, as technology evolves and develops, so does cybercrime, specifically cybercrime targeting corporates. Now, you're in South Africa at the moment for the CIO Africa Summit in Cape Town. From your perspective, what is keeping CIOs awake at night at the moment? Uh, the cybercrime, uh, they had a very big way, very long way uh, from very beginning. Then there was uh, just uh, individuals or little gangs uh, which were developing malware to attack individuals, uh, consumers, and sometimes businesses. So they had a very long way and they shifted to the enterprise uh, area as well. And now we see that many cyber criminals, they are professional enough, they have enough of knowledge and experience to attack enterprises. And uh, sometimes they have a very sophisticated attacks. They design malware uh, to enter the enterprise environment and they are looking for critical information. Uh, of course, they are looking for money and uh, the easiest way for them is uh, to attack financial computers uh, in organizations uh, and sometimes they are successful in that. Uh, they are also looking for the information like uh, credit card numbers if they attack bank environment or they are looking for some technical secrets or customers uh, database they are looking for any piece of information which is available on uh, the illegal internet market so unfortunately we see now that uh, cyber criminals they are split in the two categories uh, the first category they are traditional cyber criminals uh, still attack uh, individuals uh, they are still looking for their personal information uh, and now we see that more and more cyber criminals, they are focusing on the enterprise infrastructure. They want to have access to the enterprise computers, to the enterprise data. And that's getting more and more serious, unfortunately. Now, in regards to uh, enterprise infrastructure, do the concerns of CIOs in Africa differ from their international counterparts? Because if we have to be honest, as we know, Africa is not yet as connected as some of its international neighbors. Uh, when we're talking about computer attacks, when we're talking about internet, uh, I think it's uh, not the right idea to have some uh, national specific questions because the internet doesn't have borders. Uh, computers are the same, uh, operating systems are very same, uh, applications are exactly the same. Uh, the businesses and uh, infrastructure, they are almost the same, so their attacks, they are mostly international. And sometimes cyber criminals, they don't pay attention to their country, the victim is located. Uh, doesn't matter, is it individual or enterprise. Or so I think that there are this, uh, maybe there is uh, nothing really specific in South Africa. They are almost the same types of the attacks. Uh, and also the same is the fact that CIOs have to pay much more information to the security issues. And it's not just about uh, security software or hardware, security solutions to be installed. It's also about education of IT security personnel. It's also about uh, security audit for the business, uh, for the technologies which support business. Uh, actually, it's a very, very big work. Uh, but the reality is that we have to do that. You're speaking about IT education. Now, IT education is more than just having you know, a good firewall in place and a fantastic IT department. The whole corporate structure from HR through to admin, everybody has to have that sense of security culture. Now, how do you develop and nurture security culture within a corporate or a business structure? Uh, of course, their uh, security culture must come from their top uh, managers, from the bosses of the, the company. And also there have to be the dedicated people responsible for IT security, for everything, for technologies to protect their enterprise environment, for the education system, for the IT personnel and for the rest of employees at the same time, and for um, uh, managing that, for designing the infrastructure in the right way to keep it in a more secure way. Uh, so actually that's, a, that's a quite new for enterprises, uh, but what to do? We have to do that. 